that game, um, I think it was a PlayStation 2, and it was called Spartan Total Warrior. Oh man, it was brilliant. You just basically, you're the Spartan Warrior. You went in and you just like hacked hundreds of enemies to death with these super cool combos. Oh mate, it, it was one of the few games I just started playing, would not stop playing and just completed it in a few days and then went back and just carried on playing it. It was just great just to go into endless waves of uh, enemies and just beat the hell out of them. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, I couldn't, couldn't imagine a better game. Uh, loved Call of Duty. Um, I really, really like the strategic games as well. So Empire Earth, that was my favourite game of all time. I would just be on there for hours and if I could play against people, it'd be just amazing, man. You played Empire Earth too? Yeah. It, wasn't it good? Like, oh, I could build up an entire army quick on that game when I got good. It, it was really good, yeah. R.I.P. Empire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. It was a great game. Um, they did, did they do two more? Did they do, did they do another one, an Empire with two? And uh, did they do a three? I'm not sure. They did three. Right, okay, fair enough. So there's three all together. I just, I really wish, really, really wish that they'd just remaster Empire, Empire Earth 1. Not, not do anything new, so the game is identical to what it was when it came out originally. Just remaster it so the graphics are more up to date. That's it. Don't change anything. Don't change the gameplay, how it's set up. Nothing. Keep it all the same. And just relaunch it with brand new up to date 4K graphics. That would be amazing. I would buy that game. I would be on that game every minute of the day. So anyway, back to topic, guys. So we've got seven problems only gamers over 30 will understand. So I'm, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to this one. This should be quite good. Peggy 18. Hello. You've caught me doing one of my favourite things. Sort of just staring off into the middle distance thinking about everything and nothing in particular and turning up a bit. you know what are you doing in here that's what i get asked sitting on the bed in my pants staring out the window at 10 37 a.m on a sunday morning what are you doing and that's the thing right i'm not doing anything i'm just letting my brain have a little screensaver moment, enjoying the white noise of jumbled thoughts I'm not quite You're tuned in bed. into. Or yeah, while me the realisation of what I should be doing bangs on the door of my subconscious with increasing fervour. Robert, what are you doing in here? You're supposed to be using the start of the video to talk about the notification bell and to ask people to turn all notifications on in a way that fits naturally with the intro and doesn't feel forced. And then do the intro line! Here are seven problems only gamers over 30 will understand. Good, it took nearly, it took Video over a minute to get there. For me, I like the ultimate add-on to the euphoria of doing nothing. You know, if I can do nothing but in HDR and with beautiful 4K water graphics, complex characters and explosive set pieces, then I consider that to be the absolute pinnacle of what you can fill your nothing with. The philosopher Bertrand Russell once said, time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. And I absolutely agree. Not just because it sounds I don't, clever, no, but that's also not, that's not me. what are we living for or working towards? If it was on a VR headset, enjoy I might be tempted to do well, that. Well, since turning 30 all those years ago, my brain would argue quite a bit, actually, like you I should I thought he was older than 30 children and thousands of pounds of savings and a side hustle where you earn loads of money you blah, 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 blah. shut up brain what i should have is the final fantasy 7 rebirth platinum trophy which i won't get if you keep on going look on that's out. unhelpful as well this creeping fomo that i get now whenever i play video games like some kind of self-imposed peer pressure is something i've had to battle with increasing regularity the older i get 
and it's difficult to articulate, like small toxic waves of unpleasantness lapping away at my stomach whenever I have the audacity to be doing something I enjoy. Because I never used to get this feeling as a child or even as a young adult. You know, my brain was like, of course you're going to play 10 hours of oblivion and fritter your student loan money on takeaway. Go you! But now, if it sees me floating about taking pictures of nice water graphics in No Man's Sky, it sees fit to remind me of all the productive things I should be doing instead. Productive is now a banned word, OK? Everyone needs to stop being productive and start being... What was the guy on about? Well, just... uh, I'll, I'll be, I don't know. I don't really know what he's on about. Like, he's on about... It seems like he's trying to justify going onto a game and just doing nothing of importance in the game. So, I mean, don't get me wrong... I think gaming has changed a lot. I mean, I'm over 30. Um, but I don't want to go on a game and just swim in a beautiful ocean. If it was on VR headset, I would do. That would be interesting. But I don't want to... That doesn't really appeal to me. I love Call of Duty. I like fast... Pa I, like, I enjoy the fast pace of Call of Duty. Uh, I like going in and owning people if they're not cheating. But there's that many cheaters in Call of Duty now. I just don't play it. It's so stupid. Every time I die, it's questionable how I died. And then on top of that, it's kind of like, well, there's no way that's humanly possible. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've just sort of gone off Call of Duty quite a bit. Um, Call of Duty has a cheating problem. Yeah, it does. Call of Duty has a cheating problem. Massive cheating problem. Yeah, it, does. It, has, it has got a massive massive cheating problem I, I don't think i'm going to get call of duty 6 it's going to be the first time in the last four or five years i've not bought the next game uh, I, just, I have no interest in it so um but a lot of games now are all um you know just a gateway to the store and what the developers want is you to you know the the the, the developers couldn't care less if you play the game as long as you're at the store and you're spending money, that's what they're bothered about. Um, I mean, it's like, take Empire Earth, which we were chatting about a moment ago. Empire Earth, that was literally, you bought the game, you installed it on CD, uh, CD-ROM, CD? CD-ROM. Um, loaded it up, and you just played on it. And if other people had the game, and you could get into a server with them, you played the game with them. That was it. That's That, that was... That was the concept. They tried to make a great game that was simple, easy to learn, but could be complex if you wanted it to be complex by the in-depthness in -depthness that you could go to. Um, and then they just made an absolutely amazing game, and it was wonderful. Uh, there was no store. Didn't have a store. Uh, they weren't forced or... Uh, Push towards the store. You didn't have to buy a season pass. You didn't have to buy upgrades. You know, you you basically you got your characters to re mine resources and you built things from there. It was a great, great game. And lots of other games like Spartan Toy Warrior, like I mentioned in, in the start. With that one, you didn't uh, have to go to the store to buy a better weapon. Or go to the store and buy a better shield or better armor or better sword. They just try to make an awesome game where you go in, just kill loads of enemies, hell for fire, and just have fun just killing enemies. Empire Earth, they made it so you could have fun. They made it so you could have loads of fun with your friends. That was their goal. And if they did their job well, their game sold a lot. And if it sold a lot, they made the money. Uh, now... It doesn't matter, all these live-action games, it doesn't matter, uh, really, to an extent of how many people play it, as long as they're going to that store and upgrading their weapons and upgrading things. That's all that the developers are bothered about and the uh, companies. Activision don't care at all uh, to who's playing the game if someone's upset about the cheaters or the bugs, because there's so many bugs in Call of Duty. 
they don't care. They're not bothered. They're not, they, there's been chats before where it's openly been confirmed that the developers have a list of priorities to bugs and the simple, easy ones are fixed, complicated ones. They just can't be bothered. So just leave them. You know, people are still playing the game. Yeah, you might lose a couple of players, but the majority are still there. People are still buying the stuff in the store. So it's still buying the skins. So yeah, they're not, they're not bothered. And that's a sad thing about gaming. And I think instead of t titling it the seven problems only gamers over 30 will understand, it should be the, the uh, I think the title will be better. Only, um, only gamers over 30 will have seen how things have changed. Because we saw it when games were made to be good, when games were made to sell because people had to buy them uh, for the company to make money. We've seen that. We've been there. There was no such thing as online gaming, really. Um, and we've watched gaming go from being developers making a great game because they wanted to, because that would mean it would be lots of sales. That's how they make the money. To developers just trying to make something really colourful and really pretty uh, that will get you addictive because they've got the algorithms to then make you go to the store. Things to make you play longer. And it's it's, it's so... Uh, heartless gaming now it's so mechanical in its direct um, directness to hiding the truth that there's a lot of fun taking out of gaming uh, it's really sad but it's the truth i mean let me know what you think uh, i'm not going to bother watching this guy because i have no idea what he's on about it's almost like he's trying to justify him sitting on his ass on the sofa in his underwear playing a game for 17 hours that isn't really doing anything in the game and uh, trying to justify to himself that that's fun. I could be wrong, but I, I don't find the rest of this video interesting. So I, I wonder, let me know what you think. So, yeah. <laughs>